Angela Gideowaha during our briefing with the APC executives and other members said he is a man of good reputation and strong capacity that can pilot the affairs of the state if he is given the opportunity. <laughs> APC members, supporters and admirers accompanied the APC governorship aspirant engineer Gideon Waha to the state secretariat in Benin City. Addressing the state executive, members of the APC and other stakeholders present at the APC secretariat, the leading gubernatory aspirant of the party, former Commissioner of Education in Edo State, engineer Gideon Waha, commended the state leadership of the party for giving him a platform to pursue his political career. Engineer Waha noted that going by his antecedents in public and private sectors, he is a man fit to be the next governor of Edo State because he possesses the qualities and charisma to defeat the ruling People's Democratic Party in the 2024 governorship election if nominated as candidate of the party. He added that when given the opportunity to serve as governor of Edo State, he will address the challenges facing the people which includes lack of electricity, inadequate educational infrastructure, poor road network, insecurity, unemployment amongst others and will also execute plans to minimize the suffering of the people. We are going to be able to encourage people to go back to farm because that's a quick win. Secondly, in terms of road infrastructure, again the focus will be on access road to those farms. Roads cannot go bad too much if we maintain it. So for me it's not like we're going to lose sight of the metropolitan part of the, of the state, but for the most important thing will be creating access road to those farms so that people can take their produce out of out of farm. Next following that will be education. Of course we have seen the years of the low cost that uh, Obaseki has created. My target is to end those years of the low cost in terms of education because if you look at where Oshomoli left it in, in terms of uh, development of the schools, it was more about this infrastructure because the level of decay where it took over was also much. So he had to focus on building the structures, building the red roofs that we all well know today as the red roof revolution. So my focus in education will be the quality of learning because it is one thing to have the structure, another thing is what is happening there. In an interview with BTV News, engineer Gideon Wakan said he is passionate about revamping the agricultural sector in the state and pursue the affairs of the good people of the state. I just told my party leaders so first of all, to start from there, because this is the highest structure in Edo State, as far as the party is concerned. They are the decision makers, they are those that we assess all the candidates and know, know who to pick so that we can get our best footing out there. So the first thing is agricultural sector development, because it's a quick win, it's a low-hanging fruit, and it takes thousands of people out of the street by way of job creation world must have access to primary health. So for me, these are snippets of the manifesto. By the time the details come out, we will, we will share it because it's not time to campaign, but we have a right to give snippets of our agenda and that is going to happen. Some supporters of engineer Gideon Waha lauded his intention to contest the Edo governorship election come 2024, saying he's young, vibrant, educated, and most qualified. Because the youth is young and viable, and looking at his pedigree, the sector to which he's coming from, I think it's reliable. There's nothing like working with a more younger person that understand that understand the language of the youth. Capacity to cope with the demands of the office of the governor. And his level of public spiritedness is high. Aside from his age, being young and viral, his antecedents in politics. Even before the normal politics, while in school and inside politics, during the Commissioner of Education, he performed excellently well and the young man that is viral that I felt can move this state forward to a promised land. The event had in attendance the party leaders and other stakeholders. Best orator reporting for BTV News.